Good morning, class. Please open your student book to page 101. I'm going to explain to you how to use this grammar called Unreal Conditional Sentences with If Clauses. Now, if you remember, the word if mean, means see uh, to express different situations. Now, you need to pay attention to the sentence right here that says imaginary situation. And for this imaginary situations, we're going to use a simple past of any verb. Uh, the example says, if I found $40,000, I would keep it. That means, si yo encontrara 40 mil dólares, me los quedaría. So that means this situation is not real, it's imaginary. But we always think we need to use our minds and think about different situations that we would find ourselves in and know how we would react. Now, to complement it, you can use these words that we have in parentheses, would, could, or might. Uh, again, if I say, if I found $40,000, I wouldn't return it. Si me encontrara 40 mil dólares, no los entregaría. Okay? And for any type of sentence, you can, you, you can say, for example, if I passed the test with a 10, I would uh, put it in a frame to remember these the rest of my life. Uh, the question below says, what would you do if you found $40,000? And as I was telling before, it can be about anything. What would you do if you met your favorite celebrity? What would you do if you didn't pass secondary? What would you do if you ate something raw and you didn't know it? Okay? So it's really important and very simple. We're using the word if, the verb in the simple past, and we're adding the pronoun again, which is I, you, he, she, it, with they, plus would or could or might, plus the verb. Now go down here to exercise A. And we're going to do it together. I'm going to show you the answers. Please grab a pencil and answer correctly. Okay, you need to have all your book answered. If you miss something, don't forget that you can watch this video again. So, number one, what would you do if you lost your sister's favorite sweater? You're going to write would on the first line and do on the second line. Of course, I'd buy her a new one. And this means uh, ¿Qué harías si perdieras el suéter favorito de tu hermana? La respuesta, por supuesto que le compraría uno nuevo. Uh, this apostrophe D means would. Remember, would represents something imaginary. Ia, okay, something that hasn't passed. Okay, so number two. If you had three months to travel, where would you go? Answer for B, uh, oh, that's easy, I'd fly to Europe. Number three, if your doctor told you to get more exercise, which activity would you choose? B, I'm not sure, but I think I'd go jogging two or three times a week. Number four, would you break into your house if you locked yourself out? B, no way, if I didn't have another key, I'd ask a neighbor for help. Number five, if your friend wanted to marry someone you didn't like, would you say something? Letter B, no, I wouldn't say anything. I'd mind my own business. And number six, what would you do if you saw your favorite movie star on the street? B, I wouldn't be shy. I'd ask to take a photo with them. So remember, would, saw, this is imaginary. And the answer, I wouldn't be shy. Yo no estaría tímido o tímida. I'd ask. Yo preguntaría por una cosa. Okay, so I hope you uh, understood everything. And if you have any questions, let me know. Bye-bye.